and welcome to the finally to the second Shoveler's Cup semifinal on MBN between Salina and Tits and Saki. I'm not short925. We are here in Salina for game number one of this best of three series. Winner of the series go goes on to take on City State of Catania in the Shoveler's Cup final tomorrow. Without further ado, I'll turn it over to Skelly, who Skelly Zomperman, co-commissioner of, of MLS, to referee the game. Skelly. Good morning or evening to those of you in Asia, and welcome to this game. Are the competitors ready for the first round? Ready as I'll ever be. We're ready. Three, two, one, go. Off they go, Frog starting with a bit of lag on his side, and and a backwards L trench, depending on which which way you look at it, has been dug. Small one, that. And we are finally underway in this semi semifinal series. of a stalemate here in the small field. I believe both sides have small fields on their home arenas. And Frog tries to jump, doesn't get the sprint, and he falls. 1-0 to Salina. Ready once again. Ready for the second round. 3, 2, 1, go. Off they go again. Here immediately falls to the trench. Close calls for Frog. Tries to run over to the other side where there's no trench yet. There's a trench. Much more exciting game than the other semi-final. Yeah. Definitely gonna be be a quicker one if unless frog I don't know how big is your field so I don't cuz you cuz you're playing out of a different stadium from the one time I had this is the minimum legal size yeah this is 21 yeah. by 21 yeah I think Yeah, because I know frog I believe you build a new stadium and frog and he's in the trench. I think you could Yep, he attributes lag to that one as he just falls in, and now he's trapped under the snow. And it's now 2 nothing in favor of Salina. Ready. Ready for the third round. 3, 2, 1, go. Off they go again. Frog in his rookie season, getting the top seed by getting most wins on the scoreboard. And now he's down 2 nothing to last year's runner-up. Bit of a stalemate here across the trench. Vicky holding the larger part of the field. Frog seems to be pacing back and forth on his end of the field. Frog testing his luck here. Doesn't know. Whether he should jump across or not. Much more offensive game, even if both of the points seem to have been scored by error. Yeah, definitely. 
It is definitely offensive despite the errors made by Frog in the first two rounds here. Definitely a large stalemate here, VK throwing snowballs. Frog throwing back. Vicky crosses over, and so does Frog. Now they're both on the same side. A bit of a division between the two. Definitely another snail made ensuing here. That was a close one for Frog. Absolutely. Frog just sit there motionless now, being having snowballs thrown at him. Now he's throwing back, and definitely a lot of stalemates in this match. And Frog throws a, throws a piece of steak into the... Down into the hoppers below. I'm trying to understand why that why that is, but hey. Who knows? It's that because he's bored. Oh, really? Never could have guessed that. Frog standing motionless again. Because he is, he is a. No. He said that it's because the dispenser looked hungry. But that's a hopper. What are you talking about? <laughs> Whatever. Back to the same end of the field. Uh, uh, this looks like a kangaroo. At least from my perspective. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to find the angle. Oh, wait, from your perspective. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. They're three high. They shouldn't be blocking your jump. They will if they're three high, because you jump 3.2 blocks high at most. Oh, really? Yes, this is why, why this huh. is something that Parker maps may, uh, Parker map makers abuse and use very extensively as well. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll, I'll I'll raise them up one more later if I remember. <laughs> and this, I guess you or maybe say not. That... It's an interesting quirk of this arena. Half like good, but it is kind of unbalanced. Rock stopping the eat, still in the stalemate here. Said this was a very offensive game now, neither of them are wanting to make the offensive move. Yeah, for sure. This is definitely turn very defensive. Especially with it being 2 nothing Close call for Frog. It just turned offensive as I said that. I'm betting that was just because I said that, that it turned that way. And no, it looks like the save, is, the save is going to come up soon. Yeah, that is true. Average TPS in the last 15 minutes, N slash A. That's pretty obvious. There's the save, and leg has gone through. Now we continue on. 
takes us one jump to make something happen. Now two jumps from where he's standing. Wait. <laughs> You're talking about the weather. It's like they're talking about like 34 Celsius, and it's like 34 Celsius is nothing where I live. An island, or he's trying to make an island. Uh, yep, that's an island. I think the thing to keep in mind is that and people who live in hotter climates uh, and do tend to be more used to. Attempt number two hits the button with the bow, and we have a field reset. Still two nothing here in. The Salonis Bleefinasium. Yeah, it's a pretty cool and cloudy day, but it's like 28 where I am right now. But the thing Are is, you ready? With temperatures, it's not. If you're more used ready. to... Ready. Three, two, one, go. If you're more used to higher temperatures, you'll see that uh, the higher temperatures don't feel as hot comparatively, and you'll struggle more with cold temperatures than the other way around. Which means that if oh, you no, go to Europe with here. the average temperature of about 19 degrees in summer, in, in like northern Europe, you will struggle with 34. It's currently 21 where I am, so I'm I'm liking that. I want to move to wherever and, and you are also, now. <laughs> and also, AC is considered an essential, whereas I know it isn't as much in Europe. Especially yeah, I, Northern I don't Europe. Have, I don't have AC, no. Like, most people don't. Way too expensive, yeah. too. Like, the electricity costs are ridiculous. Yeah, I know, you, I know utility costs are higher in Europe because you import even more of your energy than we do. Oh, um, well, I'm, I'm actually... Mm, Netherlands is a bit of an exception to that rule, but sure. I, well, I, in terms of, like, fossil fuels and stuff like that. Yeah. Because I know, like, Europe basically produces none of that. Yeah, but very little nowadays. Yeah. Then again, it's not that electricity here is expensive. It, it's more about uh, AC. ACs take like a shitload of electricity it like if i'd install an ac where i live right now i'd be using about the same amount of energy on the ac that i'm using in my entire house other than that yeah ac is ac is it a big chunk of my power here a ac is a big chunk of electricity bill over here but yeah. it's like the difference is is here it's considered basically essential during the summer because it's like, it's 28 here, and it's a relatively cool day. Yeah, 28 would be like a pretty warm day. We'd have a few weeks in summer with that temperature, but not much more than that. The last year we had, like, 43 at the peak. We actually got a heat record, and like, oh my goodness, that's not fun. 43 is actually something to... About with no AC. Here, but it's like... We don't have with, AC with no here. AC, with no AC, then yeah, it'd be deadly. But of course, like even with AC, I deadly. have like two fo two bo two fans running in my room right now. Oh, I don't have a fan here. Well, sure. I guess it could make it more comfortable. The AC in my house is like really bad, and oh, frock nearly getting getting dug out there, but my AC in my house is, like, uh, really good in most of the house, and you go into my bedroom, and it's, like, garbage, so I, I put a fan above the vent, so it would Two to one. maybe help. Two. And as I'm talking about how bad my AC is in my, in my room, there you go. Frog on the board, two to one. Ready? Are you ready for the fifth round? Three, two, one, And off we go again. So I did it at the scoreboard, and now we are all set for the next round, as it's already in progress. And 
Frog to... has tied the game at two. I had a bit of a lag spike there. Yeah, I could see that spike as you fell. Pro's halfway down. Alright, ready once again. Ready for the sixth round? Ready. Three, two, one. Perfect, and now being excited series very quickly. Had quite a long stalemate earlier, now back on a quicker pace, so to speak. A quicker uh, pace. Jumping to the largest part of the field still untouched for the most part. And that's just by eyeballing it. Frog digging a bunch of trenches, despite the fact that that's. Although I don't know his strategy. That doesn't seem to be doing much. Back. Frog making a move. Close calls. <gasps> okay, Vicky uh, fell I, first. I fell first. I fell yeah, first. Vicky fell first. So it goes three to two in favor of Tits and Saki, despite the fact that they both fell. Vicky did fall slightly before Frog. All right, ready again. Ready? I fell first. Big rip. I definitely uh -huh. fell first. Yeah, it seems that we're awarding the point to Tiss and Sack. Indeed. Yeah, it does matter. Uh, if it's obvious that they fell first, then yeah, it's not a draw. Yeah. Anyways, looking like we're going for match point Tiss and Saki. Three, two, one, go. After a quick two zip lead to Salina now. Tits and Saki pulling ahead now in position to take the first game of the series. As they're now up 3 to 2. But what will happen in this next round? We're about to find out. As it's already happening. Frog getting. playing more risky now, making more jumps instead of standing there after that. Long 2-0 uh, stalemate earlier. Now the game is picking up the pace once again. And Frog nearly falling in, falling into a 3-3 tie. It's still 2-3. Jumps across. Fades the trench dug by Vicky. Frog Jumps across again. This time it looks like, uh... I see a kangaroo again, but I'm not gonna be born, so I'm gonna say a rabbit holding a king. Oh. Or maybe it's a so, deer. It's hard to pick up on that one. Oh, AP's up there. Hi. <laughs> Sitting on the holder of the Larkspur flag there. Wow, that's a close one. Absolutely. <laughs> and Frog is not going to be chasing. No, he's... He's trying to... Interesting route. Trying not to go directly behind. 
now in a bit of a stalemate here. He backs off as well. Now he jumps across. He's going for it. And, and that is Frog nice. takes game one of I'll the series. I'm done. I'm I am just been blah today. I think I'm done. I think I'll concede second game to Frog. I can't win. You're forfeiting game two? I am forfeiting game two. Alright then. I am I don't know what it's been with me this week. I just I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Okay. I I don't know what it's been with me. I've just been just blah and I don't even fucking know anymore. I've been like kind of depressed lately, so I'm just not in the mood. Ooh. All right, so Frog takes the game and the series. As Selena forfeits game two to Frog, and it'll be the City State of Catania and Tits and Saki tomorrow for the Shoveler's Cup in the final. And with uh, our colleagues at MBS ha having some technical problems this week, we are going to be live for that tomorrow just to have that live broadcast. They'll be recording it as well. And also tomorrow we'll have Survivor Seneca Islands of Exchange session number two tomorrow. Yeah. So, Titsunsaki takes the series. So for now, from MBN Sports and Salina at the Spleefnasium, I'm not short 925. Good day, everyone.